How do Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander relatives work? You know, who, who's an auntie or a cousin, an uncle, them kind of things? Oh, well, it kind of varies everywhere, but uh, in, because, you know, how your family is defined is also a cultural thing, and that could vary between families and communities. Um, in, my, in my mob, uh, you have your, your siblings, and then all of your parents' um, siblings' um, children are your, what we call, uh, cousin brother, so basically first cousins. Um, and then we don't sort of differentiate too much beyond there, so, you know, your, your parents' cousins' kids will still, still be your cousins in my way. So we don't go into, like, second, third cousins and removed and whatever any of that stuff means. Um, and we generally do it on lineal lines, so I'm on, you know, my line. So everyone who's my cousin will be um, on that same line and all of our children are on the next line down. That's different in other places, though. Um, uh, in some communities, like, uh, all of your parents' siblings are also your parents. You know, that's why I have little dad and big dad and little mum and big mum and, and things like that. So yeah, that, is, that is a cultural thing and it varies. That's just a sound mob. Yeah, um, it does. Because like at West, um, all my, because on my dad's side, um, he was never to allow to call his um, first cousins cousins because that's the white terminology. They were, they were all to call each other brother and sister. And um, they're my aunties and uncles. And like my mum and her sisters, they're my aunties and mum, but mother, really, because they're my mother's elder sisters and younger sister. My um, first cousins, they're my brothers and sisters. Their children are my nieces and nephews. My sister's children, um, they're my daughters. And um, if, because my other niece, she's got grandchildren, my sisters, so they call her mum, but they're my little grannies too, so. That varies in a lot of ways, um, but you know, even in, when they come through the organisation, if you see your cousins, you know, from your family, like you're saying on the lineage, um, they're your brothers and sisters, you know, cousin, um, especially in our way, all our cousins are our cousins, you know, especially if, because we all come from one tribe, yes. and we do, we are spread out throughout Australia. And um, when they do come home, it's always cuz, yeah, you know, or brother cousin. So, yeah, yeah um, <clears throat> when I started with Chopron, there was one, there was one elder there that was um, I had a lot of respect for, admired her um, because of her wisdom, and I started calling her Auntie straight up because um, she had that that nature about her, and um, so when I uh, we had a cultural workshop. In, in Cairns at Pullman's Hotel and she came and sat next to me and she she was asked that same question by the presenter and he said, well, I sit next to George because he calls me Arnie, not that we're related, but because of that respect, you know, because she's a traditional owner of the country. And I do that with another Arnie that stood up and um, at one of our get togethers. And when she spoke, I knew straight out, like I, I gauged their just their, the way they are and the way they speak. You can, you can tell they speak with authority and that to me spells a respect. You have to respect them. And you call them auntie eh, or an uncle, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, because when you grow up, when, you know, like in our community, when I was a child, um, my um, grandfather's sisters, they had my grandmothers as well. I mean, you know, the women in, because um, when the husbands went out and worked, the women are the matriarchs. And they chastised the children, they flogged the children, they put them into line while the husbands worked. Um, but funny thing is, I was always um, the one who was getting flogged because <laughs> I always wanted to sit around and listen to language, but we weren't allowed to listen to language. You'd be put in the circle, all the women would be watching there, you get a flogger. The husbands come home, give the wives, you know, their, their pay and go and do what they had to do. But that was all our grannies as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I guess the uncle and aunt part is that um, there'll be people who will call uncle and aunt who are not related or very distantly, distantly related, 
but as, as a mark of respect, you'll call people mm -hmm. George Sailor. Mm -hmm. I'm copying a lot of uncle at the moment, um, and it's probably will keep happening because I'm getting getting on. Uh, but I notice that people at work who don't often who, who may not know my name, but who forgot my name, will I'll always cop an uncle. And I wish I didn't have twenty-year-old other children calling me Pop, you know, like my my nieces and nephews' children's. But you know, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, but Uncle Aunty, I grew up calling a lot of people on Uncle Aunty that weren't even related to us, so that, that's just part of it as well. And that's a sign of respect. Mm. Well, to be fair, that sometimes um, Uncle and Aunty is not respectful, depending on how it's said, if you know what I mean. Mm. Not Uncle coming here now? Or did you hear what Aunty said? So, there's something to be worried about if you hear that. Right. 